Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get and set up the TV Mate IPTV player on your Amazon Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is gonna be pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the very first step is getting the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have Downloader and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step, but if you don't have Downloader yet or you are unsure, if it is set up correctly, then just follow me. So first of all, you go to the home screen on your Fire Stick, open the search bar right here and start typing downloader in a search. And as you can see, now the downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. You just click on it and here's the app which you gotta get to your device. But after you got downloader, it's not over yet because you still need to set it up. So now in order to actually set up the loader, we'll have to go to the settings by clicking this little button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And now in here, what you have to do is turn on developer options for the Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. And from here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So now, finally, we go back to the list of apps on your Fire TV Stick. Here it is, let me open it. And there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it is, of course, connecting to VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just have to connect to any server. Let's say if you connect to Australia right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is gonna give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for an award. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So go back to the list of apps on your device, open it, and then just head straight to Downloader from here. Let's open the downloader application. And now here you'll see this big search bar in the middle of your screen. Let's open it. And now we'll be using this virtual keyboard 
which is on your screen, to enter a link. So the link will be tvmate.com. That's the official website of TVMate application. So once again, it's TVMate. Dot com. Here you go, that's the link you have to enter. So just enter it as you see and click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you would get even more content about fire sticks. And now when this website opens, you just have to scroll it down until you find that blue download APK button. Let me click on it. And now the load of the TVMate application will start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your internet connection speed. Then you just have to click install and wait a moment until TVMate finishes installing to your Fire Stick. And after that, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So just click on delete and delete once again. This way you get rid of the unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much free space available anyway. And then you just go to the list of apps on the Fire TV Stick, open it here, and there's the TVMate app, which we just got. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the home button on your remote. So just click on it and press on move to front. This way the app will always be at the very top of your application list. And this way it will be way easier for you to access this app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can get three months of NordVPN for free if you use the link below this video. Then feel free to open the TVMate application. And from here, it's pretty easy to set up. Just click on add a playlist. And now if your live TV provider gave you an M3 link, then you have to click on M3 playlist enter the link right here where it says enter URL, then click next and the playlist will appear in your TVMate app. Alternatively, you can also use extreme codes in this app. So if you were given an extreme code instead of the M3 link, then no need to worry. It's also an option which works fine. You gotta click on extreme codes and there you enter the link, a username and a password which also were given to you by your live TV provider. So you enter all that data, click on next, and the playlist will appear in your application now. So that's the easy way to get TVMate IPTV player on your Fire Stick as well as how to set it up. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.